लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम ऑल इन फाइव सिस्टम these are the network of vessels that assist circulatory system to maintain blood volume The lymphatic system has two major functions in our body. Number one, it provides accessory return route to circulatory system, and number two. it provide immunity to our body what are the components of lymphatic system they contain lymph capillaries lymph masses lymph nodes lymph vessels and lymph our body cells and tissue contain blood vessels during the exchange of fluid or exchange of material the fluid exchange due to hydrostatic and colloidal osmotic pressure some of the fluid enter into the intercellular spaces around 15% remains behind along with important proteins now the lymphatic system collect that fluid and return it to blood stream so this is the mechanism fluid exchange occur between blood capillaries and tissues and due to hydrostatic pressure some hydrostatic and colloidal osmotic pressure some of the fluid around 15% of the fluid remains behind along with important proteins so this is our body tissue and here is the supply of blood through the blood vessel during the exchange 
during the supply of nutrients and uh, there is a presence of hydrostatic and osmotic colloidal pressure some of the fluid enters into the intercellular spaces the fluid which enters into the intercellular spaces will be called interstitial fluid what is interstitial fluid here i am giving you the definition we may call it interstitial fluid or extracellular fluid and also tissue fluid it is a fluid present in spaces around cells so our body tissue have this blood supply during uh, the exchange of material the hydrostatic pressure and colloidal pressure there is some uh, leakage occur and uh, in this uh, intercellular spaces so the fluid which enter into this intercellular spaces is called interstitial fluid and our body tissues have this lymph capillary supply this lymph capillary is highly permeable so it is easy for interstitial fluid to get inside the fluid which enters into this lymph capillary will be called lymph here we should discuss the composition of interstitial fluid composition of interstitial fluid what interstitial fluid contain it contain glucose amino acids small proteins but the interstitial fluid does not contain red blood cells platelets and large proteins so this is the difference between the fluid which is in the blood vessel and the fluid which is present in between the cells now this lymph enters into larger vessel lymph vessel from this larger lymph vessel the lymph enter into the nodes lymph nodes the lymph nodes contain lymphocytes so the lymphocytes filter the lymph this lymph may contain certain pathogens which may harm our body so here these nodes provide the filtration because they contain lymphocytes now from lymph nodes the lymph enter to the thoracic lymph from here the lymph enter into the blood here is the return route through subclavian vein
सो दिस इज द मेकेनिज्म हाउ द लिम्फेटिक वेसल्स और लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम वर्क लेट्स डिस्कस सम लिम्फॉइड ऑर्गन नंबर वन वी हैव स्प्लीन स्प्लीन इज प्रेजेंट एडजसन टू स्टमक in the upper part of upper left part of abdomen this spleen has salvage or rescued iron this is spleen has salvage iron from the hemoglobin production this is spleen has white pulp two parts white pulp and red pulp what is the function of these pulps this white pulp have the spleen to perform the function of immunity immune function while the red pulp is store the old red blood cells remove which are removed from the circulation the second lymphoid organ is our thymus the thymus is present in the thorax and uh, this thymus is more active in newborn as compared to adults this gland is important for maturation of T lymphocytes. Our next lymphoid organ is tonsils. These are present in the oral cavity, and these are distributed around. mouth and throat what are the function of tonsils they remove pathogen which may enter through inhalation or ingestion next lymphoid organ is pyers patches these are clusters of lymphoid follicles they serves same like it they provide immunity they destroy pathogens which are present in a small intestine as pyer patches is present in a small intestine these clusters of lymphoid follicles are present in a small intestine the last lymphoid organ is our appendix appendix is rich in this lymphoid organ is rich in lymphoid 
follicles and they destroy bacteria this is all about the lymphatic system